Tubers, I'm going to show you a neat little trick today. On these air valves, where you put the charge in your front forks, and so many different machines. I've seen these busted before. Well, I have a 10 minute fix and it will cost you five bucks, not 40 or whatever the heck they get for them. So, I'll show you what I'm up to. Tools are going to need right here 17 millimeter deep, 3 8 drive ratchet, electric drill, little driver. It's going to be a tight fit to give it a few whacks to get the dang thing in there. Uh, some kind of hammer, a 1964th drill bit. Looks like that. Never mind. And uh, here's the piece that was broke. I already started on it, so that's cheating. But you can see the end here that was boogered. And uh, yeah, so there was threads originally sticking out yay far. So we're going to press one and continue. And here's the part number from the widget I will be installing, which I purchased on the Big A. I wonder where it's made. Next, good old Meyer lathe. Put the piece in the chuck here. You hit the go button. And then you run your drill bit in and you can cut them out to the proper dimension. Okay, okay, I'll get serious here. Now if you don't have a drill press or a vise, I bet you got one of these, so just use that to hold on to the hex head. Now before you take this cap off here, make sure you got the machine supported somehow uh, so there's no load on the front tire. And then also remove the core out of what's left on this guy here before you take them out. And also you can see the spring does sit on the shoulder right here so what we're doing will not cause any interference on the operation. So after you get him drilled out to your 1964s, Take your half inch bit, there's going to be a little booger on the top, what's left of that nipple on there, so just kind of give him a little high, how are you doing, to clean the booger off. Grab one of your replacement items, they come with that nice little cap there. Take the double nuts, they have two nuts on these, take them off. And they got a washer here which will help squish the thing around but this is optional from what I heard and then take the totally flat rubber washer off both sides are the same this one here has a shoulder on it you can see right in here you don't want that so what you do is put him aside with all the other widgets you're not going to use so then just put the one rubber washer on here like so stick this guy in your 17 millimeter socket. Need a little bit of a tight fit, not bad. But I guess you can get one. Otherwise, give them a happy, happy time. Now, take him back out of there. And you're going to screw your nut on. And then what you can do. This is your, this is a 12 millimeter socket. I couldn't believe it. I didn't have a metric or American fine thread. Nothing matched the threads on that thing. I was kind of surprised about that. So anyway, tighten that guy down good. And probably best bet, you can use the wrench to help hold them. But don't go too goofy, because otherwise you can shear them things off too. So anyway, give him a little bit of a tightening job here. So here's what you look like when he's all back together. Like I said, no rubber washer on that side. And then on the inside, that fits in there perfect. And you can see where, where that rubber washer actually squished out a little bit even, which is a good sign. So let's put him in. Now, uh, also on this stuff, I don't like to put uh, power on it right away. So what I do, I use my little hand thing here, but you can use a short handle ratchet, do the same thing. So we'll give him a turn in. job and here. that's it for that repair folks uh, put your air charge in there whatever it might be put the cap on and while you're at it well I did the other side too so they match but anyway 
that's all there is to that. So another little money saving tip and something that hopefully some of you would have a use for. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you back here again. <laughs> bye bye folks.